Right, I'm going to take this opportunity to do something that I don't often do in the TYC. I'm going to reflect on real life football for a second. Today I'm only going to have one game in the episode and it's against Everton at Goodison Park. Now, knowing that I'm a Liverpool fan, some of you will be thinking that I'm going to get angry about what happened at the weekend. No. No. I'm livid. I'm absolutely livid. Nothing is going to make me happier than smashing Everton on this game. Nothing is going to make me happier. Let's do it. I think we can all agree that what happened the weekend was a bit of a travesty. No more Liverpool. That's the most important thing. Anyway, before we get on to the Merseyside derby, which I'm really looking forward to because Everton aren't doing particularly well so far in this. They're down 15th where they belong. Things have been going pretty well, to be honest. We're still top of the league, but we did suffer our first defeat, unfortunately, at the hands of Tottenham away at the new White Hart Lane. Yes, that's right, to Tottenham at three-point lane. Don't, don't really understand it, but... We bounced back from there, so there's been a while since we last met. I'll quickly run you through the fixtures since we last met at Watford. Beat Norwich, beat Birmingham, uh, doing fine in the Europa League, as you'd expect. Drew with Fulham against my old team, which I think we probably expected because that's just one of those things that happens. Managed to beat Newcastle, they're very good in this game now with Precious Ogre 4. Uh, beat Bournemouth away very comfortably. It lost to the Carabao Cup against Arsenal, but I put the backup brigade out for that, so not too bad. Beat Sassuolo and then beat Huddersfield. So since then, really, we've only had three sort of bad games, really. Until going forward, things aren't too bad until you hit the United game. Then we've actually got, within six games, them, City and Chelsea, which is going to be a big test of our title credentials. But, so far, so good. I had a comment saying, if I don't win the league with this team, then, yeah, the FM gods just will probably sack me themselves. I couldn't agree more, but... I didn't need the pressure. I love this stat. I love this stat. Look at this. Everton v Liverpool. They haven't beaten us once in this save. Going back then, because it's 10 years, I think, since Everton beat Liverpool since the weekend. And what is it now? 2035. That means Everton haven't beaten Liverpool in 26 years. In 26 years. <sighs> Let's hope that doesn't change today. You can tell it, I've had to wrestle with a lot of players. We've had a lot of fixtures recently, which is making life a little bit difficult. But it's a big game. We've got a relatively easier fixture coming up on the next Thursday against Victoria Plazan. I, I expect us to beat them. The other guy you need to keep an eye out is this guy, Graham Porteous. He's A, he got a sensational name. And B, 19-year-old Scottish wonder kid. Absolutely amazing and tearing up so far in the Europa League. Three goals in three games. He's been absolutely brilliant. So, the team for today then, with a couple of changes. Lewis, Claudio and Goal, McBride, Ross, Ramirez and Arosi as a back four. So, Ross is coming in for Christina Aguilera, who's had to drop to the bench. Then you've got Garavano in the middle with Tunkara, Katanek, Einsteinson, Kuka and Schneider. Schneider, by the way, as well, putting it out there. Absolutely insane, insane form. 14 appearances so far this season, 13 goals. It was money very, very much well spent. And on Kuka watch... 12 goals, so Schneider has now actually overtaken him. Ah, and he's beginning to lose the stats a little bit. Is this the fall of Kuka? I'll be very disappointed if I've turned up just as he begins to fall away. Oh my god, they've got a couple of real players here. They've got Alex Penetra. How old are you? 34. Right, well, let's get Schneider on him. And they've also got a chap in the middle called Riki, 34. So they've got quite an aging team. Everton. Like I said, they're not playing particularly that well, but they have got a player here, Federico, who is quite good. He got a few goals against me while I was manager of Fulham. So someone that we need to watch out for. Having said that, this is a game that I expect us to win. Like I said, Everton haven't beaten Liverpool in 26 years. I do not want to be the first manager in this save to lose to them. Can't have it. They've only drawn eight of those times as well. 23 of them, Liverpool have won. So this is massive. Oh, thank God Jordan Pickford isn't playing. Because otherwise I'd have to protect all my players. How is it not a red card? How is it not a red card? Alvarez whips the ball in. It's gone over everyone's head. Garavano now. Can we launch a counter? Garavano down the wing. Hits a good ball to Kuka. Go on, mate. This is where the magic happens. Kuka. Go on, mate. Roast him. That, that's completely the opposite of roasting him. He's just given the ball to Amiobi there. And we've headed it back into Miller Park. Alvarez. Oh, Schneider nearly nicked the ball there. Off of their centre-back. But Everton playing some decent stuff here to start with. As Lee Chion Siok. 
plays it back. They're putting themselves under a little bit of pressure. And there it is, Schneider against Penetra. Penetra's a little bit older, like I said. Schneider hits it, hits the boast. Oh, how's Kuka not tapped in the rebound? He's a man in form, Schneider. Whip the ball in and he will deliver. This is actually a chance for us to take a more of a lead as well in there. It will be, it will leave all the other teams behind us having a game in hand. But if we do win this game, it does put a little bit of pressure on everyone else just to let them know that we're not relenting. It's another corner for Everton here. And Alvarez whips it in back post. Federico's there. No, oh, you are uh, the guy I was mocking, Alexander Penetras. No, 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 no. Come on now. Oh no. Alvarez heads it. Federico. I mean, what is that? Who's that on the line? Who's that? I want. Let me see. It's it's Matty McBride. I can't believe Matty McBride has not cleared that off the line. Well, this would be a bit of a turn up, and not a not a happy one either. I don't know why there. One of our players just literally just... It's 2-0 Everton. What is happening here? Who's the right back? I mean, oh my God. You're... Oh, Rosie, what are you doing? You literally just let him go. Oh, God, no. 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 This is absolutely horrendous. They've just got so much room. I don't understand. It's like the, it's like we're not bothered about the pressing. The pressing's been so far off what I'm used to. But when we've had the ball, we've not done anything with it, really. Apart from Schneider hitting the post. We've not created anything. I've not got this back, too, of Penetra and Gonzalo anywhere near enough. I mean, they're just... They're playing like they play prime Barcelona. Katanek, good ball there out to Kuka. Go on, Kuka. Come on, mate. I need something magic from you. That will do. Kuka, play the ball now. Into Tunkara, lovely layoff to Katanek. He's missed, but Kuka's there. Get in, come on. 13th goal of the season for Sunaj Kuka. He just reads it, anticipates it better than anybody else. Come on. Oh, bloody hell. S sensational play from Kuka to start with, and we've got a bit of a comeback here. Great ball by Tunkara. Katanek It's not the best finish in the world, but Kuka's there to tap it in. Come on, if we can get it back to 2-2 before half time, that'd be massive. Absolutely massive. Oh no, Alvarez over a free kick. He whips it in. Federica, we've headed it clear. Garavano, get to that ball now. Alvarez, nick it, nick it, nick it. We have Katanek, Matty McBride. Great player by Schneider to hold it up. Garavano, let's get one before our time. Tunkara, please finish. Tunkara, that is, at, mm, that is absolutely atrocious. Oh, what an abysmal finish that was. I mean, this is pissing me off. They've had two shots on target. Both of them have gone in. Do me a favour. I'm going to get aggressive, can't I? Show a bit of desire. What's going on? I'm going to make a couple of changes. So, Alvaro is going to come on for Rosie because Alvaro's got a little bit more... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, experience. Kassanek's been good, but has he really been that good? I don't know. Can Kuka play out that? I don't really want to take Kuka out of that right-hand channel. He's been so good there. We'll go with that for the time being. So, Arozzi, just for that second goal, it was horrendous. He just got completely caught out of position. Matty McBride's injured. It's beginning. Oh, good. Oh, good. Don't foul him, Kuka. Do not get yourself sent off. First highlight of the second half. Everton on the ball again. Maybe it's because they're at home. I don't know. I just feel like we're in... Oh, ball. Schneider, please, mate. Schneider. Blah! You were never going to miss Roland Schneider. The lad is insane. What a finish by our number nine. Get in. Great ball over the top by Mario Katanek. Boom! From 2-0 down to 2-2. Come on, boys. Davidson gives the ball away. They're great play by Jakub Galinski. Great, great take by Schneider. Chest control, and he just rifles it past White. Should probably save it, really. I don't give a monkeys. What attack. Well, what a shot and what a goal. We're back in it. And we've robbed the ball again. Schneider's having an absolute blinder. Schneider hits it. White makes an absolute meal of the save. And we're all over Everton now. Half an hour to go. Come on, boys. If there's any justice in the world. You would be my man. I would be your girl. Oh, no. This isn't the time for the Marmite. Right, well, I know he's knackered, Garavada and Kuka. But Takara has been awful today. So I'm going to bring on... I'm going to bring on Aaron. And I'm going to swap him... 
with Einsteinson. So Aaron's going to the middle. Einsteinson is dropping back into that box to box role. I know he can play it quite well, so let's hope that he carries the ball forward, does some decent work here. Good play by Avara. I felt a lot safer since he came in down that channel. He's about to do something stupid, isn't he? There you go. Yeah, he's just that there. His player completely walked past him. Good save there by Lewis Claudio. Good to see you here, mate. Come on, boys. We've got 10 minutes to get ourselves a goal and win the Merseyside derby. I'd still take a draw going away to your rivals, but a win would be would be top notch. Should be top notch to be two 0 down as well, and then come back. It shows great resilience, but this will feel like two points dropped. Five minutes to go. Time is ticking away. Ever since I've been in it, it said it was been an exciting game. Nothing's happened. Hang on. Last minute highlight. Ross and Steinson, Aaron, Aaron. That's a great tackle, but Garavano is on it. Garavano into Aaron. Iron, make yourself a hero. Alvaro, he loves a long shot. There's Alvaro. He tees it. Kuka Schneider. Yes! Roland Schneider scored. Suck on it, Everton. Is it offside? Is it offside? No, of course it's not. Just like it wasn't at the weekend. Suck on it, Everton. Suck on it. Sorry, that's not the right way to phrase it, but get in. He is. Oh, he's just on. He's just on Kuka. Kuka and Schneider together. It's like. It's like bacon, lettuce, and tomato. It's like peanut butter and jam. It's just, it's just everything. It's perfect. What a finish! That man, Schneider. That man and Kuka. I love them. Three two from two nil down. Get in. We're made of sterner stuff. Yes. Screw you, Everton. Screw you. Twenty six years. 26 years without beating us because we're the best team in Liverpool. Matty McBlade is going to be out for three to four weeks, which isn't ideal, but to be fair, Galinsky played very well when he came on. Uh, kuka has got a fitness concern. Don't worry, mate. You're not going to be playing in the next couple of games anyway. I wouldn't worry about that. Schneider's been insane. Ptolemy's been insane. What a performance. Get in, and that takes us... Five points clear at the top of the league. Hell, I, like I said, we played game more than everybody else. But it, it's the manner there. That is going to kick us on. Something chronic. Look at all the average ratings here. It's literally just us. It's amazing. I love it. Kuka's already got 11 assists. And he's got 12 goals a season in 13 games. Un unreal. Unreal. In terms of where we come back, I know it's a short trip. But it's got to be hosting United. Surely it's got to be hosting United. Because let's face it. Liverpool versus United is the biggest game in English football. So how could I not want to show the first time that I take on the Red Devils, especially at Anfield. Place is going to be rocking. Oh, that result has really, really cheered me up. I was worried we weren't going to win it. I really was. But get in. Thank you so much for watching the episode, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do drop a like on the video, share, subscribe, come back for the next big game. It's the other derby. It's Liverpool versus Manchester United. You're not going to want to miss it. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Of course.